Now, the Democrats in Virginia's House of Delegates have introduced a bill that is called uh, the Repeal Act because it would remove all existing restrictions on abortion in Virginia. And that includes permitting abortion in the last three months of pregnancy, eliminating informed consent. So, uh, you know, even young people can get abortions and clinic safety requirements. I mean, basically, as, as a lot of the people who are involved in the movie Gosnell, where, which I, to which I supplied the screenplay, a lot of people are saying, you know, Gosnell, who is convicted as a serial killer, would basic, could basically now be Surgeon General of these states uh, because everything he did turns out to now will now be legal in New York. And now they're trying to make it legal in um, in Virginia, where it's obvious that a woman is about to give birth. She has physical signs of, of that she is about to give a birth. Would that still be a point at which she could request an abortion if she was so certified? She's dilating. Uh, Mr. Chairman, that would be a, you know, a decision that the doctor, the physician and the woman. I would understand make that. that. I'm asking point. if your bill allows that. My bill would allow that. Yes. So that's infanticide, right? That's killing. I mean, there's no difference between a baby in during labor and a baby after labor, after it's been born. There's no difference there whatsoever. And that's in keeping with the left's underlying philosophy. I've always said this, that underlying philosophies eventually come out uh, and they eventually hold sway, that every philosophy basically takes itself to its uh, uh, ultimate conclusion. And that's why it's very important that your ideas, that you vet your own ideas and that the political parties vet their ideas and that you vet your political party's ideas because they may sound good in that moment, but actually it is the underlying idea that will always hold sway and always win out. And the underlying idea of leftism and of Marxism has always been materialism. Let me put this in the simplest terms I can. This is the difference between materialism and non-materialism. I'm not even talking about Christianity. I'm talking about some kind of idea of spiritual truth, some kind of idea of moral truth, right? If I strangle a child, an innocent child, or if I give a beggar bread, do those acts have different qualities? Do they have different moral qualities? And if they do, where does that morality exist, okay? Is there some place that is not this place, that is not made of flesh, that is not made of clay or wood or, or material, where that goodness or badness exists? or? The only other the only other option, because this is the only other option, is that it's just kind of an opinion that we have, a feeling that we have that strangling an innocent child, not so good, giving a beggar bread, kind of nice. If we lived on a planet, which we soon will if the Democrats continue on this path, if we lived in a planet where strangling an innocent child was a sport and everybody loved it and it was really fun, would it then be OK? Because there was no one there to say it wasn't right. If everybody just said this is great. You know, or or maybe the child who gets strangled didn't think so, but he was outvoted. Would it be okay? Or do we believe, and I believe all of us actually believe this, that it is inherently bad? And if it's bad, where does that badness exist? Okay. And what I say is that there is an immaterial realm. This is not supernatural. It is not supernatural to say that two plus two equals four is true, whether you say it or not. It doesn't. It it is instantiated, it becomes real when you take two pennies and two pennies and put them together and they're four, but somewhere, perhaps in the mind of God, two plus two equals four, whether you have those two pennies or not. The same thing is true about morality, right? The moral, uh, the moral world exists and it must exist in some kind of consciousness. I think you can't get away from God. This is one of the reasons, that this is the central reason I converted. You cannot get away from the concept of God once you believe that there is a moral universe only, in my opinion, only the Marquis de Sade, uh, who said, basically, since there is no God, there is no morality, why don't we just torture each other for pleasure? Only he made sense as an atheist, as far as I'm concerned.